Hey everybody, welcome to the real United States. We are here in downtown Washington, D.C., right on the intersection of Virginia Avenue and Constitution Avenue, just across Constitution Avenue from the National Mall. And we're here to start our series on the Statues of the Liberators. Now, behind me here is a beautiful statue of Jose Gervasio Artigas Arnal, or simply Jose Artigas. Artigas was a statesman in Uruguay. He's a national hero in Uruguay and is considered the, the father of Uruguayan statehood, nationhood. Now, I'm not going to go into a great deal of details about his, his history and his accomplishments and whatnot because that's not really important for the beginning of this series. But he was, again, the father, he was the George Washington, if you will, of Uruguay. For those of you who maybe it's not springing to mind, Uruguay is a nation in South America on the eastern side of the continent. Right below the nation of Brazil, it borders Brazil to the north, and then it's sandwiched against Argentina, Argentina on its west and has a nice coastline right at the mouth of the Rio de la Plata. So it would be right across the bay from Buenos Aires, its major city, Montevideo, is right there on the end of the Rio de la Plata. So that gives you some idea where Uruguay was. So anyway, Artigas was responsible in large part for their independence, their nationhood, their development. Now, the, the Statues of the Liberators were, are a series of statues that have been given to the United States as gifts by various nations across Hispaniola. This particular one was a gift from the nation of Uruguay, obviously, and they stretch all the way up Virginia Avenue, which is behind me over here, all the way up to the Watergate Hotel, which I'm sure many of you, at least the older folks, are familiar with that name, which is right on the Potomac River, so they stretch all the way up Virginia Avenue. Now, we are literally next to the White House, or nearly next to the White House. Next to us, actually, is the facilities. I'm trying to remember if this is the Daughters of the American Revolution or if this is Daughters of American Revolution Constitution Hall. But both of those buildings are right in behind us, and then just on the other side of those, not a block and a half away, is the White House. So that gives you some idea of just how close to the center of the town we are. And these statues are stretched in places like this all the way up here. There's equestrian statues. They all seem to have this little park of their own. This one, of course, is this triangular park that's right here, I say, between Virginia Avenue, Constitution Avenue, and this is 18th Street. So you know that the White House is on 16th. So we're, like I say, a block and a half, two blocks. Now they've got a beautiful little quote here by Artigas that I wanted to share with you. Come along with me. And of course, like always, this beautiful pink and white granite, everything here on bases of granite, granite around the outside inscribed in that is a quote by Artigas, the liberty of America is my design and its attainment my only objective. And on the back of the monument here is inscribed from the people of Uruguay to the people of the United States of America. What a beautiful, beautiful gift. I'm given to understand that this statue is I don't know if you'd call it a replica or a twin of another statue, but it slips my mind exactly where that is right now. And that's the case you're going to find with many of these statues that celebrate the heroes of Hispaniola, the Latin American world here in the Western Hemisphere, is that many of them have 
sister statues either in their home countries or their home countries and other cities in the United States or throughout the world. So in the preceding videos, preceding, no, succeeding, coming videos, I'm sorry, we're going to take you along and show you all these beautiful monuments to the great leaders and historical figures from across the Western Hemisphere in Hispaniola. If you've got questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. I will do my best to answer them and I love hearing from all of you. If you're new here, please pick subscribe and come along for the adventure. We've got lots more to show you. And as always, thank you for watching.